Okay, so I managed to get Windows XP running on my M1 MacBook Air, and uh, it was a very simple process with UTM, but the thing I couldn't do was get files into it, and I needed a different web browser because the web browser that was in it didn't work, and I just wanted to try a few games and things like that. Uh, so I'll show that process. Let's go into screen capture. Okay, so I'm using the built-in QuickTime screen capture on my Mac, so it's doing that at the same time as running this virtual machine. So if you launch UTM, and I ended up paying for the UTM version through the App Store, you can download it for free through the GitHub, but uh, I chose to get the App Store one because it updates itself, uh, so as new updates come along. So in, in a previous video, I showed the Ubuntu version, which runs really well, and this is Windows XP. Now, if I go into the UTM gallery, this shows you all the operating systems you can use. And as I say, the Ubuntu worked brilliantly for me. I was really impressed with that. Uh, and I've got a separate video which shows how to install that. But the Windows XP uh, is actually pretty impressive as well. Even though this is an ARM processor, uh, this is a x64 architecture Windows XP. It still runs perfectly fine. And uh, I mean, the hardware support isn't there for gaming. Um, but uh, but loads of programs work and it's just nice to play around with it and have a go. Now they need you to download the ISO and all I did was did a search for this uh, so I copied all of this and did a search uh, under archive.org and put that in and it actually found it and downloaded and, and worked absolutely fine and all the installation is explained in here there isn't really anything extra with that. They talk about having Firefox 52 ESR. I've got a version of Firefox that seems to work with it, but as I said before, the bit I had trouble with was getting files onto it. I tried with USB, tried with shared folders, and for some reason I couldn't get it to work. Anyway, let's go back. So if I hit play, you can see it starts up. I can go full screen, and Windows XP starts in the normal way. And if you click the mouse, uh, it will go to the single pointer. You can release it by pressing control and option together and then that gives you control outside of XP. There you go, you get the normal startup which is nice to hear. And you can see all the pop-up bubbles come up as you would expect them to. If I hit the start bar, uh, all of this seems to work fine. I did try and get Interstate 76 to work, but uh, it only just launches the menu, doesn't actually launch the game. Uh, Datum up does work, which was I think some shareware that I'd had from years ago. Uh, and you can see things like recent documents works. Uh, if I go into my music, there's some sample music, which is the original stuff that XP would have come with. So if I double click on that, it will launch in Winamp because I've installed Winamp on this. There you go. And I won't leave that playing because I don't know what happens with copyright. But uh, Winamp works fine and is properly responsive, all the equalizers and things like that. Everything seems to work. Uh, exactly as it should. So if we wanted to look through folders, so for instance my computer, all of this works you know, just as you would expect it to really. You can see I've got a CD uh, there which is one that I've created to transfer files over but I'll, I'll do a separate one in a minute. Uh, Firefox is really slow. Um, it, uh, it's not worth using. Uh, it is a way I suppose you could download a small file to be able to get something on it but yeah it's not particularly usable. As you can see, uh, while it's doing that, uh, I can use Mac OS by just going right down to the bottom. Uh, if I call up the web browser and do a search for old Windows programs, uh, there was a site that I managed to get Firefox from. And uh, if you wanted some other stuff that you wanted to just play around with just for nostalgia, so things like 7-Zip, FlashGet, Nero, AdAware, CC Cleaner, all sorts of things from back in the day, if you wanted to be able to try them out, uh, most of the programs I've tried seem to be working fine. It's just the game support that doesn't seem to be there. Uh, but let's go back uh, into XP. And let's just do a search for, say, BBC. Uh, the web browser is really slow, weirdly, because other things seem to work fine. Uh, and you don't really notice that it's only on a virtual machine. But the web browser, as you can see, transferring data from Google. Uh, and obviously you're not really going to use this as a web browser because you've got the Mac web browser and if you're going to do it, do it on that. But I suppose if you wanted to download a small file, you can do it without having to do my way of file transferring. So let's close down Firefox. And just to show you, all of these sort of things work. Uh, so with the speaker, uh, if I was to go into run and do, uh, well, you can see I've already typed in DXDiag. 
that comes up and you can check all the details and, and how they've emulated it. Oh, probably don't wanna wait for it to do that. So let's try a little bit of datum up. You can hear the sound works fine on it. I'll just hit space to get through all of this. And this isn't a game I've, I've particularly tried. I can't, I can't even remember this, but it seems to be, I'm not sure exactly how you aim the dart. Well, that was nearer to, to triple 20. I guess you, you get used to where you're aiming on the bit. But yeah, speed wise, as you can see, it doesn't struggle with this. And so maybe other games, other retro games that you want to try, maybe work absolutely fine. Oh, we can turn off the music, look. There we go, that's a bit better. Uh, so yeah, cue to quit. And that takes us back to the menu. You can see this sort of stuff seems to work really quite well. Uh, I don't know what pictures are in there. Are there any pictures? Oh yeah, the old XP sample pictures. They don't do that anymore, but it used to be a thing. And you can see if I flick through them, everything's working fine. What happens if I right click on that? Preview, edit, refresh thumbnail, rotate, set as desktop background, open with, so if we open it with paint, yeah, that works all right. And let's drag this down and see if we can paint on it. Nice. And let's show you how to get files on here and you use it through the Mac. Uh, it's pretty straightforward really, but uh, to quit out of this, if I shut it down in the normal way and turn off, you get that familiar sound. Okay, so say we wanna put some files into XP. Uh, the way I found that was easy to do it, uh, say for instance, I've got an image file here. Let's pop it into a folder. I called the folder shared XP just so I know what it is. Uh, and I've already put Word in there. Uh, which I'd got from years ago. I think it was on a CD, but it came up as floppy disk. But I'll show you what it looks like when I go to install it. Uh, although I don't think I've got the key, so I probably won't install that. Um, but let's get something else as well. So say for instance from oldversion.com and uh, if I wanted to say Notepad++. So it will tell you what versions work with what software in some cases. So it should work with pretty much every version. Let's just go for something old. Uh, so say 2.6 from 2004 and download that. There you go, you can see that's downloaded. So let's drag that into the shared XP folder. So we're gonna put all this uh, onto like a fake CD. Uh, so what we need to do is open up disk utility and file, new image, image from folder. So we can pick the folder, so it's on my desktop. And here it is, shared XP. And hit choose. And the image format, we wanna do it as, as DVD CD master. And hit save. Okay, so operation successful, hit done. And we can close this down now. I got this tip from this website uh, just to show you uh, where all the information is. PeakNet Live, uh, and this is the, the next bit's really crucial. So this is something done in Terminal. So let's go to Terminal and we put in CD tilde forward slash desktop. And you need this bit here, HDI util make hybrid. And the bit you need to change is this bit here. So shared XP needs to be the name of the file that you're changing. So we're making shared xp.cdr into shared xp.iso. So let's hit return. And you'll see that the iso file has appeared. And this is uh, basically would mimic a CD. So what we need to do now is launch UTM, launch XP as normal, Okay, so now I can drag this out of the way because I need to change some settings on here. So what we're doing is in this bit here where it says CD, DVD, we need to change the disk. So browse, need to go to the desktop and find that ISO 
and open and that's it so now if we go back to XP and go full screen if I now go to start and my computer you'll see there is a CD called shared XP and if I double click on that it will show all the files that I've just put on there so there's the installer there's word and there's an image I took the other day so if I drag these to the desktop There we go, so I can double click on my image. It's quite a big image for XP, so we'll see how, oh yeah, it deals with it all right. Yeah, no problem with that. Uh, if I want Word, uh, again, I don't think I've got the, um, the key to be able to install this, but basically this was when they went from floppy disk to CDs. So this came on a CD, but it came in this format. And all you did was double click on setup, and it would start going through each disk in turn but uh, it's going to ask me for a key and I haven't got a key on me. It is up in my loft, but I haven't got a clue where it is. And you can obviously do this with any music files or anything you want to be able to get into this XP version. So let's double click this installer and just to show you that it installs as it normally would. So Notepad++ 2.6, hit next. I agree, next. You can see this is very, very quick. And as I say, programs it seems to have no problems with it is more to do with uh, games. So anything that needs hardware acceleration, it tends to stumble on. But it's still good fun just playing around with it. Let me know if you get any other games running on it and something that runs well. Uh, but I hope all this helps. Thanks very much for watching. Please like and subscribe.